Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Young Titan World. Today, we are going to be going through the top 10 anime for you to check out 2023. Now, obviously, there are lots of animes going around right now, and I'm pretty sure I could find at least 10 people who give me a lot of anime that I've never even touched before. Pretty sure I said anime in that side, but that's for another video. So we're going to just be looking through the top 10. Pretty sure some of you have expectations. I know there are a lot of Attack on Titan fans that can't keep it in their pants anymore because they're so freaking agitated. You know, part two of the final part is, you know, tending to last a lot longer than it's supposed to, isn't it? <laughs> you guys are so screwed. Anyways, um, before I do that, I need to make sure that my video is still functional. There you are, you incredibly handsome cunt. Wait, what did you call yourself just now? I did not call myself anything. In fact, let's get into the video right now, shall we? So, first of all, we've got a lot. But um, I think the first thing that we did, at least the things that we hope to talk about, is Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War Arc Part 2, The Separation, as well as Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, we've got Mashoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, Horimiya Peace, Liar Liar, Masamune's Kun, wait, did you say that right? Masamune Kun's Revenge Arc Season 2, um, we've got Bungo Stray Dogs, we got Season, Bungo Stray Dogs Season 5, I kind of lost track of which season I'm in. Might have to backtrack. We've got Ronu Kenshin 2023. We've got Rent a Girlfriend season three. We've got additional summer 2023 anime shows to look out for. Wait, what the fuck? I think that is a topic on its own. Oh yeah, like a subtopic. All right, great. But regardless of whatever that is, we got Reborn as a vending machine. And that is now I Wander the Dungeon. You know, like anime titles really 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 get confusing don't they yeah we've got classroom for heroes we've got my tiny senpai we've got atelia riser ever darkness and the secret hideout we've got spy classroom season two um we've also got the duke of death and his maid season two now that reminds me i might be going beyond 10 with this one so just bear with me because <laughs> pretty sure making these videos are probably you know, regardless of that, regardless, <laughs> let's just get right into it, shall we? So, the first one on the top of our very list is Jujutsu Kaisen, Season 2. And kind of surprising that after all this time, we've, we're have we now entering Season 2. I feel like a lot has happened in Jujutsu Kaisen, but I guess that's only because of the movies that came out, right? Yeah, because of the movies that came out, there are lots of, you know, there's lots of stuff going around. And every girl that I've known is just simping for Gojo Satoru. And now they're going after the guy who's upside down in the background. <laughs> oh my, how ladies do. Alright, so it says the first anime on Best Summer 2023 watch list is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. The sorcerers are returning in an animation style with a change in director from sung -Hoo Park to Shota Gushozonzo. Did you say that? Why? Go show Zono. Now, it has been over two years since season one. Told you. Ended back in March 2021. That was still during the whole time that we're crazy about COVID, you know? It's like the sequel will run for two consecutive years. On um, What does cause mean? You're learning in French and you can't understand what cause mean. I'm like, two hours? The sequel would run for two consecutive years. Cause, with the focus one, with one focusing on Satoru Gojo's early days with Suguru Geto, it just seems like their names sound so similar, you know, like, you see what I'm getting at? Satoru Gojo, Suguru Geto, like SG, SG, what, what, what the fuck is that? Who made them names? And Toji Fushiguro, yeah, that's the one girls are simping over. It says that they've also shared character designs for several of the characters when they were young and you can watch the trailer which obviously my previous self did not see the need to because i don't know i don't want to copyright on my shit you know i'm trying to avoid that shit you know i'm trying to be real with that shit mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yes that is basically it let's move on now. <laughs> 
I kind of gave myself some space to read it because I thought that I would be as slow as a bug, which is weird because I don't like. Yes, but for Jujutsu Kaisen, if you have never watched Jujutsu Kaisen before, this is probably a nice summation, you know, just a quick brief. What is it? Wait a minute. Go back. Go back like a bit. And yes, that's it. Pause. Now it says, I thought I paused you. What the fuck is going on? Pause and stay there. Okay. So for the, for the summary, Studio Mappa, which animated both the 24 episode first season and movie for the franchise, is back to animate Jujutsu Kaisen season 2. Great. Crunchyroll describes the story in this, you know, short summary. Yuji Itadori is. I, I'm really just comfortable with the way the. Japanese say Itadori Yuji. It's so flowing. Is a boy with tremendous physical strength. Though he lives in a completely ordinary high school life. He lives a completely ordinary high school life. One day, to save a classmate who has been attacked by curses, he eats the finger of Ryomen Sukuna. Taking the curse into his own soul. From then on, he shares one body with Ryomen Sukuna. Guarded by the most powerful sorcerers, or guarded by the most powerful of sorcerers, Satoru Gojo, or as I like to call it, Gojo Satoru. Wait a minute, last time that I touched my microphone, I lost visuals. Wait, this, this, oh yeah, this is part of the full screen, you dummy. Can we just check, just a tiny bit, I don't want to lose video coverage, so please. By all means. Oh, yes, that's your beautiful self. You're still recording this, though. You know that, Michelle. Okay, so back to full screen again. All right, so it says, One day to save a classmate who's been attacked by curses, he eats the finger of Ryo Menzukuna, taking the curse into his own soul. From then on, he shares one body with Ryo Menzukuna. Guided by the most powerful soldiers, Gojo Satoru. Itadori is admitted to Tokyo Jujutsu High School, an organization that fights the curses, and thus begins the heroic tale of a boy who became a curse to exercise a curse, a life from which he could never turn back from, honestly. It's very, it's kind of like a selfish role, you know. When you watch Black Clover, they want to become the president of something or the Hokage of something or like the king something. This one's like, I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to be okay with it. Almost as selfish as Chainsaw Man when his only priority in his life is to touch tits. Like, I mean, like, I understand you, but okay. I guess you're taking a different route from the hero's way. All right, let's move on. So yeah, and the release date is on July 6th, 2023. If my calculations are correct, that is in. We're close to it, so better hold on to your poses. Oh yeah, of course. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of this elegant ditty. Second one is Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War Arc. Part 2, The Separation. Honestly, it's always, there's always a big kind of animes that have the part 2s and stuff like that. If you were a small anime going on, you'd give everyone everything they need and then hope they want a season 2. <laughs> Not these guys, no. They've got a lot of manga to go through. Especially One Piece. Yeah, so this is for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc Part 2, The Separation. Now, moving on, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War Part Part 2. The Separation is another anime that will definitely be one of the best to watch in the summer 2023 anime season. The first part had great production quality, and it dominated in our weekly poll. Tite Kubo also said in an interview that the second part will animate a new fight that wasn't drawn in the anime. You can watch the teaser for it below. Seems like something that only the uh, Bleach fans would relate with because I miss me with that Bleach shit. And I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I've not had the patience nor the time to be reinvolved in another anime that's just going to leave me stranded with anticipation. It's just not something I'm ready for. Attack on Titan has already gotten my goat and I, I don't know what to do about myself now. All right. Now, the first time I ever heard of Studio Piero is when they made the Naruto um, 
you know, scenes. I told you the boss. If you can't understand what the space bar means, why do you want me to press it? Okay. You know what? Maybe I should leave you paused. That That's probably going to be best. I'll leave you paused for the entire thing because clearly past self has issues. Um, okay. So, yes. Yeah, Studio Piero. First time I heard about it was when they reanimated some of the Naruto scenes, which was really epic. And everyone wants now wants Naruto to start again because if all the scenes look that incredible, it's great. But you forget something. There's a lot of filler shit in Naruto. I do not want to go through that process again, please. Even if you're going to give me like, what, 1080 pixels and amazing animations. Stop it, Studio Piero. I don't want that tragedy on my hands again. So, yes, let's continue. Studio Piero returned to animate after previously producing the original TV anime adaptation of Tite Kubo's Bleach manga, which aired between October 2004 and March 2012. With a total of 366 episodes, this media licensed it in English and they described the Bleach 2022,000 year Blood War story over here. Now, peace is suddenly broken when warning sirens blare through the Soul Society, residents that are disappearing without a trace and nobody knows who's behind it. Meanwhile, the dark shadow is also extending itself towards Ichigo and his friends in Karakura. Now, and the release date is on July 2023. A lot of things are happening in July. Yeah, I know, right? A lot of people are graduating, not you and everyone else that we know. Amazing, such an amazing moment to be alive. All right, let's move on to the number three. Usually I start from 10 to 1, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's not like it's ranged in amount of interest. I feel as if it's just blended in, so no one has greater value. Unless, of course, you're a fan of one, in which case you want to put one on top of the ladder or something. The third one is Zom 100. Bucket list of the dead. I've never watched that one before, but let's see what they say about it. So, now, let's go back a little bit, please. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it's not. We can read that, can we? We can read that. So, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. Adapting the sign-in manga with story from the creator of Alice in Borderland, Harold Asso. Wait a minute. I thought that was a Netflix show. You mean Alice in Borderland? Yes, because I've seen it. Oh my gosh, am I actually being enticed to watch an Netflix show because it's related to a manga? Possibly. It has piqued my interest. <laughs> okay, now the story will look to offer an interesting new zombie survival story. Ah, it's about zombies. I can see why they did it. The vibe I get from the visual and trailer is kind of similar to The Call of the Night, although it was vampires. Sure. Well, I'll try, I'll try it out, but there's no guarantee that I'm going to enjoy it yet. All right, so let's see what happens to me. All right, so it says Studio Buck Films is animating with Kazuki Kugui as the director. This media describes the story over down there. In a minute, let me just burp. That's a good burp. In a trash filled apartment, 24 year old Akira Tendo watches a zombie movie with lifeless, envious eyes after spending three years at an exploitative corporation in Japan. His spirit is broken. He can't even muster the courage to confess his feeling to his beautiful co-worker, Otori. Then one morning, he stumbles upon his landlord eating lunch, which happens to be another tenant. Nice. The whole city is swarming with zombies, and even though he's running for his life, Akira has never felt more alive. If you break away from the boring expectations of life, it, it sure does seem like a good option. Yeah, like your 9 to 5 job does not seem so bad anymore because you're running for your life. And that's way more exciting. Blood pumping, adrenaline in the brain. Okay, that's one number three in the release date, as always, is July 2023. A lot to look out for, July. It's just mm, wonderful month. At least that's what I want to say. All right, so third one was the fourth one. Losing count, third actually. Just say next one. The next one is Mashoko Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2. Now, okay, let's 
Okay, now it says the next on the best summer 2023 anime watch list is another highly anticipated sequel, Jogo Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, coming a year and a half after its Season 1 finale in December 2021. Rudy will continue his journey after Eris left. You can watch the trailer for the new season. I'm sure you can. So will I. But I've not watched the trailer, have I? I think... You know, that scene where they're in the icy place and that guy who has the epic voice. Um, he is the same guy who voiced the Joker in um, the Fire Squad. That's what you call them? No, like it's, it's Fire Squad, right? Fire Club, something fire. I'm going to say that thing that he says when he was trying to attack the guy in the dungeon. It's like, she got it. Small card, something like that. I don't think the blue blue is part of it, but I just, you know, for show effect. Now, Studio Bind is returning to animate. Crunchyroll streams the anime, and they describe the story. When a 34-year-old underachiever gets run over by a truck, his studies doesn't end there. Because truck coon always has better plans for you and my... Don't make any sound. Okay, so his story doesn't end there because Dracoon has different plans for him. Reincarnated in a new world as an orphan, Rudy will seize every opportunity to live the life he's always wanted. Armed with new friends, some freshly acquired magical abilities, and the courage to do the things he always dreamed of, he's embarking on an epic adventure with all of his past experience intact. Yes, all the humiliation, all the fact that he was a fat guy, and all the fact that he got no freaking truck nothing compares to being a kid again or does it i don't know who has ever experienced that feeling but if reincarnation is actually a thing and people going around dying and coming back with memories of the past it must be excruciating i mean apart from the dead part and also what kind of life you lived before you got into your new life you know if, if you had a sucky life it'd probably be better if you realized that you've stepped up or it's just going to feel worse if you are on such a high pedestal and you come back on the lower one. So it's crazy. Unless, of course, it didn't change for you. No matter where you found yourself, you always managed to get back on top. That would be a really incredible story, though. Okay. That is what was going to be released in July 2023. Enough of enough gabble. Let's go to Horimiya Peace. Now, Horimiya Peace is coming in as the first rom-com. On the best summer 2023 anime watch list, Horimiya Peace will be adapting material that wasn't in the original anime from 2021. Yeah, yes, it says we can watch the trailer, so that's going to be nice to do. Now it says Studio Global Works is returning to animate with Masashi Ishihama. I don't know if they're related to Masashi Kishimoto, but y'all know the reason why I know that name, right? Because it's coming from Naruto. So he's returning, or she's returning as a director. Um, Crunchyroll is streaming the first anime season, and they describe the story. When the popular Hori and the gloomy Miyamura meet, they, res they reveal another side of themselves. Could this be a start to something new? Is it like a gay story there? Because they both look like girls. I think by now, you're not, you don't have the right to judge an anime character's gender. Because... <laughs> Gender, gender is just exactly how it is in real life nowadays. Just the same thing. It's the same thing. All right. The next one is Liar Liar. Now, another new anime that could be one of the best to watch in summer 2023 is Liar Liar, which will probably remind everyone of no game, no life. The protagonist transfers to a school where everything is sorted through games, and he immediately defeats the strongest student. Yep. Sounds like something that could happen to Sora and Shido. Hopefully, the edgy aspect isn't too forced. What? It has an edgy aspect. Mm -hmm. but sign me up, people. If you don't know what edgy is, let's just say it's they're more bold in the presentation of what anime is and what objects they choose to um, accentuate. In a very professional manner, I've explained to you what edgy means, these to the Weep Society. They will. Appreciate my efforts. I've also offered an application. I hope I've 
accepted. Now, let's read a little bit about Lie Lie. Now, you can press license the light novel in English, and they describe the story. Now, the academy, a school the size of an island where students compete for ranks, not only did Hiroto Shinohara pass the most rigorous exam in the country with top marks to transfer there, but he defeated last year's reigning champ on his very first day, catapulting him to the rank of seven star in record time. Except he didn't. The truth is, he screwed up big time, and now he has to maintain his position there no matter what. It's a liar's world. So I don't get it. He won, but he didn't really win? Or it's like, it was a fluke. That's crazy. I, I don't really know what's going on, but it seems like something that you'd have to watch to understand about. But it's basically probably the fraud in him that's letting him succeed. So <laughs> if it's working for you, I mean, like, fake it till you make it, bro. Fake it till you make it, and you're going to do it. <laughs> Release date is July 2023. Are they honestly... Is it honestly in July 2023, or is it that they don't know the release date, so just assuming that it's July 2023? With that being said, let's just move on to the next one. That's Masamune Kun's Revenge R. Is it like rated R, or the R is part of the name? Season 2. Let's see what that's about. Um, start of the picture. The second rom-com candidate on the best summer 2023 anime watch list is Masamune Kun's Revenge R Season 2. Masamune's revenge plot on Aki will be continuing after over six years since the first season ended back in March 2017. And fans have waited quite a while. They've waited quite a while. <laughs> I don't know if you're still part of that fan base, but I do honor your commitment. It was originally scheduled for April, but ended up getting delayed. Not because of COVID, because 2017 was not even close to COVID, okay? <laughs> but ended up getting delayed. Yes, yes, we know that. You can watch... Uh, okay, let's just move on to the next one. So the next one, we have... Wait a minute. They still have something to say. Okay, so it says that Studio Silver Link is returning to animate Crunchyroll. Speaking English, Studio Silver Link is returning to animate... Crunchyroll is streaming the first season, and they describe the story. One moment. I got a lot of gas. Should come out the other way. I have returned to this town for revenge. Eight years ago, Makabe Masamune, a weak, chubby boy, was harshly rejected by the beautiful Agakaki. Agakaki. Now he's lost a ton of weight, changed his name, and returned as a handsome teenage boy, all to make the brutal princess Aki fall in love with him so that he can reject her as just as harshly as she did. That's his main plan. He, he does all that work on himself just so that he can go let her fall in love with him so that he can reject her? Bro. Bro, Andrew Tating, I'll be happy with you, man. Your priorities are low. What the f To each his own, man. To each his own. Respect for that much commitment in trying to make a bitch look bad. The release is in July 2023. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Gundo Stray Dogs Season 5. Now, another shonen anime on the best summer 2023 watch list is Bungo Stray Dogs Season 5, which is coming back after only a single season break since Season 4 ended in March. And I don't know that. The sequel was announced immediately after the finale, and you can go, you can watch a trailer. Of course you can. You can go watch a trailer. I ain't gonna tell you. Now, uh, Studio Bones is returning to animate, and Season 5 will begin the finale. Of Bundo Stray Dogs Volume 18, the beginning of Volume 19 of the manga, Yen Press describes the story. Scattered and alone, the members of the armed start again. The members of the armed detective agency disappear one by one as Kamui, the leader of the Decay of the Angel, seeks to eliminate them once and for all. But the Tsushis and the others aren't out of the fight just yet, as they piece together allies and information in preparation for a counterattack. The return of a familiar face brings hope that they may be able to return their desperate situation around. However, long tonight, the dawn will break. The agency's revival is at hand. I have to say that, but I think I have fallen out of it. Um, because, I don't know, I guess ever since they flashed back 
I wasn't able to get back from there, you know, after the kids were murdered and the guy tried to go get his um revenge. So the next one is Maroni Kenshin 2023. Now coming as a remake of the 1996 anime, Rarune Kenshin is another shonen anime on the best summer 2023 watch list. It has been almost 25 years since the original ended in September 1998. I wasn't born just yet. That's probably had to wait for like two months before I came into this world. I'm saying. And Kenshin's adventure will be shown again in modern animation by Studio Living Films. You can watch a lot of so let's hear what's this story about. He seems to be holding a katana, so it's got to be good, right? Not everything has a katana in it is good. You bite your tongue. Okay, I think we've read this one. Let's uh, go down there. Down, down. Okay, up. Oh, yeah, that's it. So it says, 140 years ago in Kyoto, with the coming of the American flagships, there rose a warrior who... Felling men with his bloodstained blade gained the name Hitokiri, Manslayer. His killer blade helped close the turbulent Bakumatsu era and slashed open the progressive age known as Meiji. Then he vanished and with the flow of years became a legend. Release date 2023. Sounds something that I'd be interested in. Uh, but if it has no powers or fantasy or sci-fi... I, I, miss me with that shit, okay? Now, let's go on to the next one. Rent a Girlfriend, Season 3. I hope you guys love that one. I, I've heard a lot of stuff about it, but never really been interested in it. Though. He says, whilst the MC's development has put off many, Rent a Girlfriend, Season 3 is oh so deserving of being on the best summer 2023 anime watch list. That's another rom-com. Its girls have been the main selling point since the start. And in the third season, we'll be introducing a new one, Uni Yaimori. Watch the trailer for the new season. Hmm. How much more do we have to do, you know? Okay, uh. Oh, yeah, so we've reached the end of it. Now, as much as I would love to, <laughs> I think this is the part where we're just like stringing through. But we only got like a few minutes left, so I want to do this. Uh, we'll talk about the other ones later. I'm pretty sure I'm bored you enough and you would like to go and check out most of these. So, I'm um, not going to subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really do appreciate it. Your likes and comments are greatly appreciated. And on to the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Young Titan. And you guys have a great day. All right? Bye. You know, you still have to go over here and press the pause button, right? That's not part of it. Mendoza, 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 Mendoza. All right. Toodaloo.